Hey everyone, so here we are in Barrio Gotico of Barcelona, and I want to show you something. So the Gothic Quarter is known for its beautiful streets, church bells, lots of history of course, <laughs> your fair share of uh, souvenir shops, but also the oldest cafe here in Barcelona. Not too long ago, I shot a little short film with my team. It's kind of like a prequel to a coffee series that we're currently working on. We decided to start right here in Maison del Café, but they're, they're closed today. So before I share any more, why don't we just cut to the main role and I'll explain more after. The genius mind of Antoni Gaudí, the crunch of classic Catalan tapas, the clack of skateboard wheels around every corner. There are endless reasons to love Barcelona, some of which are obvious and others just a feeling. In Barcelona, this love of life cannot be separated from strong traditions of going out for a drink or five from a strong shot of espresso to a refreshing glass of cava. I hope you're thirsty because we're about to go on a wild ride of tastes, traditions, and straight up temptations of the liquid form. When you think of classic coffee cities in Europe, I'm sure visions of Naples and Rome come to mind. Maybe Vienna or even the romantic Paris. In a cafe, s'il vous plaît? But like any European city, Barcelona has its own long history of cafe culture. Let's start our coffee journey here at one of the oldest living cafeterias in town. Maison del Café, 1909. Walking in here honestly feels like taking a step back in time. Monse was happy to meet with me to share her long family history in the Maison, and I was dying to sip on some of their classic Spanish drinks. When you enter, you see. Okay. Uh, this yeah, I saw it when I walked in, and I was wondering, okay, well, how do you, how does that work, right? Yeah, this co the very, very work. There's a, my father, and a picture that uh, uh, my with a coffee machine. Yeah. There's a 1,200 coffees a day. There are more coffees. That's amazing. more, and more coffees. That's incredible. And my grandfather say, "Wow, this is a business." <laughs> <laughs> and in Barcelona, yeah. uh, they're popular. This here, they're the best coffee in Barcelona. Yeah. And my dad, this is a one in '81. Yeah. And he comes here every day and he drinks the coffee. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So imagine I'm a local, local Catalan, Barcelona. I come in here. What should I order? What's the, the drink, the most popular drink for? For local, uh, the popular is a cortado. Okay. Cortado is uh, in this size. Yeah. This size is the middle to the coffee and the other with milk. <laughs> but the, the cortado is not good for health. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's because uh, milk yeah. is, is uh, the structure yeah. break uh -huh. with the coffee. Okay. So it's more like a treat. Yeah. Like once in a while. Time in, in breakfast, co uh, coffee, okay. black coffee, short coffee. Let's try Not that. sugar, only. Okay. Do you want? Yeah, please. Okay. Thank you. That's so important in the coffee, the water, yeah. the beans. And press. Press, that's so important. And my coffee is a blend. Seven different beans. We roast it, we separate because the beans, they're needed different temperature. Yeah. The beans, they're a secret for my family oh. since 19. So I was gonna ask you where did the beans come from, but it's a secret, right? <laughs> no, this is the secret. <laughs> and there are seven, but it's not torrefacto. Torrefacto is, is very, very, very bad in okay. the stomach. Can you tell me what is torrefacto? Torrefacto is a bean with sugar mm -hmm. and roasted. Ah. It's only, only for a color in a coffee. Exactly. Gracias. And this is a perfect breakfast. Oh, th this is the breakfast? For a breakfast, this one, and with churros or croissant. Croissant is more and more friends, but here's is more popular. This is a uh, fry. Yeah. A fry and sugar on the ah, top. A little bit of sugar, but is it is it sweet naturally or no? No, naturally no. In Can Cuba. I dip it in the coffee? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to put some sugar on the top? Yeah, let's try it with the sugar. Mm. Wow, they are pretty it's salty. Crush, but with a cr Catalan cream. Mm. The more too. Catalan cream, so this is like the crema catalana. Crema catalana. The classic breakfast is, is the coffee with churros or coffee with milk yeah. with croissant. Yeah. 
But you don't think with the milk is very healthy? Yeah, yeah. But is this I healthy? Don't recommend, <laughs> I don't recommend it, but I, the people won't. It's a tradition, Yeah, right? yeah, it's a tradition. Yeah, 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 it's the same. It's the oldest cafe in Barcelona, as it's in the 1909, my grandfather founded it, and we continue, my father, in 1929, we changed it, all the creation. Okay. My grandfather have a friend, and the friend is Austria. And the Austria, he decorated all this, same to Austria. And my grandfather say, did we change the wine for a coffee? And uh, we did here, yeah. um, at one day, <coughs> 1,200 coffees a day. Wow. On this coffee machine, yeah. handmade, and it's still hanging up here, but it's not, it's yeah. not operational now, right? No. And there are the best coffees in Europe. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, they're for you. El Maison del Café. The original coffee machine is a proud part of the decor, which is the one. Specialty coffees include one with double cream and whiskey and homemade churros, which is what we're munching on right here, deep fried pastries, and they sell like hotcakes. Well, you sold me on the on the churros. The mix it is the like double cream with whiskey. This is something that I need to try. Yeah. What's the name of that drink? Picardia. Picardia, the original. The original. It reminds me of the carajillo. The carajillo, there when the soldiers go to the Cuba. Yeah. Uh, needs a, a courage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And drink a coffee, and he takes a room. Yeah. With a coffee. And, and the first time it's not carajillo, it's corajillo, yeah. it's courage. And so the drink so they want the alcohol and the coffee all at once, it, right? It's the coffee, <laughs> it's the same to the cortado, but not milk, it's with algo. Ooh. <laughs> is it practical? Yeah, I thought it was going to fall. Nothing as beautiful as coffee falling over milk. I'm going to get my palate ready with some of these churros. <laughs> you like it? I have to stir it, right? Yeah. Okay. So we got a little bit of, it's whiskey, double cream, spilling all over me. This is a very full cup. Keep stirring. Check. Oh wow, picardia. This is really, really sweet, Thank but you. very tasty. I enjoy it. After a good taste of Barcelona's original coffee blend, I heard there was something big happening at one of the city's newest cafes. Monse was so kind to let us into her cafe and share her family history with us. Over 100 years, that is so crazy. Can you imagine owning a cafe for over 100 years? And when you do visit, I definitely recommend trying the Picardia and a few churros if you're in the mood for something sweet. And whiskey, of course, keep that in mind. And I also wanna thank my, my team, my partner on the project, Daniela Trujillo, and then Ricardo Andino behind the lens. So, I hope I can share with you more about this coffee series very, very soon. But in the meantime, do subscribe if you haven't already. We're gonna be doing some more coffee adventures here. I'm here in Barcelona and actually, I need to go find myself a coffee. I didn't know they were gonna be closed.